All right, all right, all right. Divine rising, everyone. Divine rising. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the NYC uh, trading session. I'm super, super, super lit to be up on these charts, marking them up and showing you guys a simple strategy. We're going to be getting started here shortly. Make sure you drop OTC. It's like what? It's seven people. We should have seven OTCs throughout the groups. Um, drop it in the group, everybody, so everybody know we're on the call. Like I said, I'm super elated. I don't know if you guys can see me. It's a little, it's a little dark sun still coming up. Um, but my name is Isis Love, you guys. And uh, I've been with this uh, organization since about 2017, right? And I'm super lit to be marking up these charts. Um, it's about 8.01. We're going to give it to about 8.03. We're going to play a little music. We ain't going to get too crump today. I ain't really crump, crump, crump like that today. I just got done listening to a book, right? Normally around this time, you guys, I don't even like to talk to people. <laughs> I'm still in like the other dimension, manifestation, thinking about my goals, like visualizing, like, yo, bitches visualizing things, visualizing my debt-free life. All right, you guys, we're going to get started here in about one minute. Shout out to everybody from the, um, the Money App group, the seven-day trial. Shout out to everybody on here for the seven-day trial. We're about to connect to Facebook and start here in one minute. Anybody want to come off mute and let us know where you're from? I want to hear your voice. Good morning. This is Melissa from Atlanta. How's everyone doing? Let's go, Melissa from ATL. Shout it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Who else we have? Hi, Liza family. This is Tangie calling from Atlanta. Tangie from the ATL Shouting. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Pleasure to have you um, here. Pleasure to have you here. Glad you are here today. Uh, we got 20 more seconds. Who else we have? On? Oh, no, this is uh, Miss Long Winnie. <laughs> Um, soon to be in Atlanta, GA. Let's go, let's go. Do you take after Mr. Long Money Luke? <laughs> no, hey, what's I up? don't. <laughs> hey, yo, what's up? It's Stefan. Sorry for uh, last night, y'all. I didn't know my phone was uh, off mute. <laughs> Man, while I'm here, Atlanta representing. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember what's going on. Peace, peace. Man, glad to have you here. All right, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and dive in. The call is open for anybody to hop on. You can invite guests, family, friends, but let's just get it in, y'all. So I'm going to pause this. Let's dive in. So let's talk about the purpose of this session, you guys. This session right here is not really so much of a teaching session. This session is more of a watch session um, because, uh, let me just meet the lines. Because um, a lot of information is um, caught. And what that means is um, you learn a lot uh, simply by just watching. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some um, back testing on a strategy. I'm going to show you guys a strategy. I'm going to back test the strategy to show you guys how it consistently works. Back testing means I'm going to go back in the past and show you how you know, the strategy worked in, it's been working over and over. Um, today, I will take some volunteers to get up here and mark up their own chart. I feel like that's the fastest way um, to learn is when you actually get to do it when the teacher is here to be able to help you. Because sometimes what happens is after these calls, you know, you don't get on trading view, you don't try it, or you don't try it for a couple of days. And then, you know, you forgot how it is. Now, really quick, I know we have all types of people here from all different types of love. Please keep it on mute, you guys, um, from all different types of, uh, you know, learning. And so, um, like I said, just basically watch it, you know, just basically watch. Don't get too overwhelmed with, oh my gosh, I don't know what this is. Just allow the information to really stimulate your mind, right? And if we could just remember to just keep our phones muted, that'd be super dope. 
All right, you guys. So let's dive in. Don't worry. I will take questions. Um, you know, I will break it down, you know, midway. So uh, the strategy that that Oh, let me turn my phone out because I'm in a I'm on Facebook. What up, Facebook? So the strategy is called price trap. And I didn't create the strategy on my own. Um, humbly, uh, I would definitely say that this came from one of the educators in our um in our school, Christopher Derrick. Um, I just I found a strategy and it just made sense to me. I was like, oh my gosh, this dude has just a couple of lines on his chart and that's it because all of the other stuff um, required, like when I first started, I started off with Bollinger Bands, MACDs, RSIs. I had to wait to the RSI to do this. I had to wait to the MACD to do this. But when I found the simple, my way my brain where I need is simple, right? So I found the simple strategy and it's something I've been sticking with because it's been spot on. So last Tuesday, <clears throat> I'm gonna start keeping up our record because I see that's the thing to do. So last Tuesday, I don't know, um, Stefan and I think it was Rob maybe. Did you guys mark up two charts from before? Did it end up hitting 20 to 30 pips? Because I didn't have those charts. Uh, yeah, I remember you sent something in Telegram saying that uh, Rob and I, uh, markups had hit. No, no, I didn't know if they hit. I was asking if they did. Oh, uh, I thought, well, maybe I read it wrong. I thought you said they had hit. But, uh, oh, got you. Do you still have it? The chart with the, that pair? Hold on. Let me uh, check my email. All right, bet. So check this out, you guys. So, so far, we're five and one. Um, we're going to see what um, the both both the gentlemen had in our squad, but right now we're five and one for the uh, for the week. And uh, some people may have cashed out on the XRP or maybe not, depending on your lot size and how many uh, your stop loss. But we're five and one, so you guys, the strategy definitely does work. So <clears throat> take notes, you guys. So the first thing that we're looking at real quick. Last night I called the Bitcoin trade. And what I noticed is that either it, it knocked you out or it didn't. It didn't knock me out. But if you pay attention right here, it wicked your take profit. So depending on your broker, meaning depending on your broker spread and stuff, it may have took you out <clears throat> or it may have not. However, let me see. However... If you would have followed the strategy, I mean, you would have been <clears throat> well over a thousand pips just from that move. So let's talk about the strategy. I'm gonna clear everything off. And this is a cryptocurrency. This is Bitcoin for anybody brand new. And what we're basically doing is we're gonna mark, we don't, everybody always wants to know like, um, well, how do you know when to get in the market? How do you know when to get out the market? Well, I let the market come to me. Um, I let it come to me. I don't try to predict. I let it come to me. And so uh, what I want you guys to do is it can work on any pair, right? So you choose your pair. That's step one. And make sure it's on the hour chart. So step one, choose your currency pair and make sure it's on the hour chart. Before I get too deep in this, it's so, 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 you got put, somebody put in a group, in a group chat, so, 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 like, I don't even know how you would spell that, just maybe it's a whole bunch of souls. Can, 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 can I see how that look in the chat bar real quick? <laughs> yeah, let me see how that look, right? So, it's so, so important that you don't strategy hop, that you don't strategy hop. It's, let me see how, how it looks. It's so important that you don't be a strategy or yes, thank you for the participation. Because <clears throat> what happens is, now don't get me wrong, you can listen to information because you can learn something from everything, right? But you don't want to be learning that strategy over there. Then you back over there learning that strategy. If you've been liking this strategy or if your strategy is similar to this and let's go but don't strategy hop that's why i've been able to stick with one thing i'm a very plain simple person people who know me uh personally 
I use the same seasonings. Like I'm so basic, y'all. Y'all think I'm basic, y'all. I'm very basic. So this is a basic strategy and I didn't want to change it up, right? So step two, you're going to grab a horizontal line. So you would... You have, you're going to have to learn how to use TradingView. There's plenty of videos in the school, right? So when you first see this, you'll see a um, trend line. But there's a drop-down menu, and we're going to look for horizontal line. And what we're going to do is we know that the market is currently right here. Hold on. Let me show y'all. Let me get my little uh, arrow. Right, the market is currently here where that little cute green candle is. Right, let me make it big for y'all because I want y'all to see this. Because once you see it, you're not even going to need the lines. So, this is where the market is. Right, excuse me, y'all. Uh, I ain't even gonna lie, I'm still tired. Oh, it didn't it even really hit it. Okay, yes, it did. So, here's where the market is. Right, and it basically means we're on the hour chart, that means in 47 minutes. This candle is going to be done for me. It could be big like this. It could be big like that. It could be small. We don't know. This We're just indicating that the market is right here, right now. So when you grab your horizontal line, the first line, which is this line, we want to look for candles that's higher than this candle to our left, right? Over here. To the left, to the left, right? To the left, right? And so... When I look at these candles, I'm like, okay, well, when I'm looking over here to the left, I'm seeing that that candle is higher, you know, around this area, like this, this whole area, right? So let's just say I put the, most people probably would have put it on the body, like right here. It would have been like, that one's longer. And it's not that it's wrong, but... <clears throat> If you see all this access stuff, you see all this access wiki action, we want to, um, y'all give me, let me see. Let me get a one, let me get a, a 30 second intermission real quick, y'all. When I tell you my throat is dry, I haven't dry, drunk any water. Hold on one second, y'all. Let me, let me do a little intermission real quick. Listen to the beats. My bad. That may have been a little bit rude, but man, I could, I felt like I couldn't couldn't talk, right? So you want to scoop up all of this access right here, right? All of these wicks because wicks is a sign of exhaustion. So you want the market to like pass all of this. So this is why I'm deciding <clears throat> to just slide it up a little bit, right? Now it doesn't matter what color your line is. Right, you can make your color any color. I'm gonna make it black, right? Now, we're still on step two. Step two has a two-step process because we're identifying the resistance, AKA this top line, AKA our buy zone, right? So let me put that down there. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Now, <clears throat> remember, market is currently right here. Now I'm still looking to my left, and I'm identifying candles that are lower, right? Candles that are lower than this candle right here. So let me grab another black line. People still pouring in. All right, make sure y'all drop OTC in the chat bar. We're going to take questions and all that later. Just come in, meet your line. So look, so if I look, this candle is longer too. Like look, when I, cause I'm looking for the candle lower than this green candle. This green candle right here where the arrow is right there. That's like right there, right? That's where we are. I'm looking to my left. Now when I look to my left, this candle's lower and these candles are lower. Lower than this candle. Right? Well, you see how we got these little wicks right here? This means exhaustion 
I just to be on the safe side, I wanted to pass through all of this before I enter in on the sale, right? So basically now I have my buy zone and my sell zone, my resistance and my support, right? You might hear sometimes, a lot of times these terminologies is the same thing, right? It's just the same thing. Now that's step two, that's it. We setting up a trap. That's why it's called price trap. See, some people would rather fish with a pole and some people would rather just throw out a cast and grab all the fish. So that's what we kind of do. We're the ones that's throwing out that cast and grabbing a fish like that, right? So we just set up our price trap. This is called price trap. We are trapping price, right? So right now, price is consolidating within these two black lines, right? Consolidation. See consolidation like Atlanta traffic, <laughs> right? Consolidation is playing ping pong off of these black lines, right? Everybody see that? Look at that. So what we're doing is we're waiting for this thing to go tick, 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 boom. And then once it do that, we want it to come back down and retest and shoot back up. Or it's going to do this. We wait. I'm going to show you guys what we wait for, but one second. Or wait for it to go down, come back up to retest, and go back down to trade, baby. Sexy. Now, what does this mean? So let's go to step three real quick. I just put my... um put these on a little early, but let's go to step three. So remember, step one, pick your pair, make sure you're on the hour chart. Step two, which has a two part to it. Step two, you want to um, get the holes on the line, do your resistance, AKA your buy zone and your support zone, AKA your sell zone. Now I want you guys to know that you gotta practice this. If you don't, if you just on here watching, it's good to just get on and kind of look a couple of times. Don't get me wrong. But when I give you this homework later, you wanna do it. That's how you're gonna learn trading. You can watch videos and study until your face fall off. But if you're not getting in chart action, you're not really getting into trading. So step three, go to the 15 minute chart. We're only on three steps. That's it. Three steps. That's it. That's all. Matter of fact, you don't even have to draw these lines. I drew these little lines in the inside as a demonstration for y'all. All right, so I'm going to delete it. All right, I'm going to delete it. So step three, we go to the 15-minute chart. If somebody can drop the steps in a group, just in case somebody writing a little slow, they can pick back up in the notes. Now, um, Step four is set your alarms. What do I mean by that? Now, I recommend everybody get the paid trading view. It's about $15. And so what that means is now, instead of me looking at, I don't have to look at this chart all day <clears throat> because I have the paid trading view, which means I can get alerts. <clears throat> so what that means is like right here, this black line. So let's just say I'm like, hey, I want to. I want it to alert me when the market like comes about, like right there, like right there where that little dotted line is. Let me make it big for y'all. Okay. I'm gonna show you what we're waiting for, but just a second. Step four: set your alarm. So I want when it whenever these can if the candles break above this black line. And it knocks this little line that just lit up. It's going to send me an alert. So I know, hey, it may be going in the direction of a buy, vice versa. Down here, I could do the same thing. Now, I don't normally put it like on the black line. I put it a little bit above or whatever your color is going to be because um, it may tap it. It may just tap it and you all like, oh, and it just tapped it. So I do it just a tad bit above, right? That's step four, right? Now, step five. And now if you don't have the paid trading view, you're gonna have to set your alarm. 
It's your choice on how you want to do it. Now, this trading, if this trading doesn't really require you to be in front of the computer a lot, this type, but it does require you to have some type of alarm or some type of triggering mechanism to be able to see the chart. So if you don't have the paid trading view, that means you're going to have to figure out in your mind, what do you want to do? Do you kind of want to set a timer for every 30 minutes, for every hour? Like, what do you want to do to be able to go back and say, hey, let me check my chart to see if it broke my, my buy zone, right, or my sell zone. That's why I say get the paid trading view because you don't have to wonder, it's going to tell you, right? So step five is relax. Now, what are we waiting for exactly? So that's really the steps, but I'm going to show you guys now what, what the move looks like. So really quick, so could somebody come off mute and tell me the five steps? everybody at once i know everybody took notes um so for marking up and i may not add it correct but um still learning of course so you're gonna um of course pick your pair um and then you're gonna make sure you're on the hour chart and um once you make sure of those things, then you're going to choose the highest, um, the highest high or the, the most uh, recent high candle. Um, you'll mark that with a line and then you'll choose your most recent low candle by looking to the left um, and looking for the lowest point. Um, you'll mark that with a line and then you will go to your 15 minute and I think you put the leg thingies. And then after you do that, you set your alarm and then you wait. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's drop some 11 11s in the chat bar for Tangi for stepping up. It was a what was number four? I'm sorry. What was number four, Tangi? Sorry, y'all, my brain moving slow this morning. <laughs> Uh, let me see. After okay, let me just ask you which part do you do? Which part do you have? Because I really didn't even I didn't even put I, steps. I got the um for number one pick pair for number two. You know your hours do the hours chart and make sure your charts in the hours. Uh, number three choose your recent high candles. Number four look for your lowest candles. I mean number three look for your lowest candles and what's the other one before alarm? Oh okay. So after you pick your next low, well, your on, most recent low. Hold on, you guys. Time out, time out. Tim, you got it kind of mixed up. You added in some extra steps. So really, really, really quick. But first of all, thank you so much, Tanji, for, uh, for sharing that and laying it out. So I'm going to say it one more time because a couple of them, it's like not, it's only like four steps, like five steps, right? So, so step one is choose your pair and make sure it's on the hour chart. So that's just one thing in step one. Okay. Your and it's on the hour chart. That's step one. Step two has two things to it as well. You're identifying your support. You're identifying your resistance. You're still in the hour chart. Step three, you're on the 15 minute chart, right? Step four, you're setting your alarms. Um, step five, you're relaxing. So it has, so the first two got two parts. All right, you guys. And like I said, if y'all can't put that in the group, I think some people may still not have it fully so if y'all can drop that in the group because it's just five steps five steps you guys and i'll do it again don't worry i'll do it again and i'll show you guys okay cool so those are the five steps you guys okay now let's see how it looks okay we got the five steps but what are we waiting for isis what does it look like let's talk about that right so remember it's called price trap right but the move that we wait for in this price trap is called break retest trade. And when I tell y'all it's sexy, ooh, when I, ooh, when I tell y'all this move sexy, right? I'm gonna show y'all. Break retest. I love it, y'all. Like, man, if you ain't traded, then you tripping. 
<laughs> like seriously, if you ain't trading, you tripping. Look, man, if your money is not working for you, if you're not multiplying your money, you tripping, tripping, yo. So it's called break, retest, trade. So look, these are the steps. So what I just showed y'all was the five steps to setting up your chart, right? That was called, the title of it was called five steps to setting up your chart. Now what I'm about to show y'all is the three step, the basically the three step move you're looking for to enter the market. So two different things, right? Now we're looking for the three step, the three indicators that's going to tell us, ACEs get in, right? Bet. So let me look for an example, right? Let me just show y'all a little cute, a little cute example. Let me see. Let me go back in the past and show y'all. Like I said, you can see it with your eyes, right? You start to see it with your eyes, right? It's so sexy, y'all. Bet. Whew, when you see it, you see it. When you see it, you see it, baby. Hold on, I'm about to show y'all. This is gonna be so, it's so, it's so sexy. If you already see it, if you already see, this is, this was our, let's just use our, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. I don't know if I like that one. Or I'll do it from the, from the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna do the bottom. All right, babe, hold on. All right, that's more sexier. All right, if you already see it, drop I see it in the chat bar. Before I even say it, if you see it, if you've been on my sessions every Tuesday, if you already see what has happened in this chart right around this area right here, right around this area right here. Anybody see it? Let me see. Let me see if some of the some of the people. Okay. All right, Melissa. I right, Joe. Okay, Lakeish. I right, Robert. Okay, y'all been paying attention. And if you don't see it, it's okay. Don't feel any type of way. Just keep getting on these sessions more. Keep practicing. It's okay if you don't see it. I'm gonna show you, right? So <laughs> remember, so step one of when do I get in the train is you when you draw your 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 support. In your your resistance and your support, you want it to either break. If it breaks above, you're buying the market. If it breaks below, you're selling the market, right? In this instance, this red candle broke the um. This red candle right here broke this black line. It didn't break the top. It broke the black line, right? So we now in our mind, we thinking, hmm, this might be about to be a sale because it broke my sale zone. Now, remember, we're on a 15 minute chart. That means each candle will, is going to take 15 minutes to form and develop, right? See it as a baby. It takes 15 minutes to be a full grown baby, right? So... What that means is when you see it breaking, that doesn't mean hop in. That doesn't mean, oh, it's breaking my sales zone. Let me hop in. No, no, no. That just piques your curiosity like, hmm, let me wait till the whole 15 minutes play out and let me see what this candle is going to do. So essentially, let me make it big because I want y'all to see. This candle broke through and closed. You see that body? You see that? This is a body, right? The whole body broke through this black line and closed here. It closed under. Now, let me show you an example of something that's not closed under. This, for example, you see how this black little line came down? It came down. It did kind of low-key pass through this black line. But it didn't close. We want the whole body. You see how this little body came through? We want the body to come through, not the wick. And that's what this did over here, right? So that's the first step to how do I know when to get in? We wait for the break. There goes the break. Now the next thing is the retest. Write this on your notes. Retest, a.k.a. reversal, right? A.k.a. pullback. It can be called a pullback, a retest, a reversal. 
when you hear words like this, what do you think that means? I need somebody brand new who just got on here. I, I want to make sure that I break this down so easy. When I say the word like pull back, reverse, retest, what do you think is happening in the market? And it's you, going back to where, where it was. So it's going back to that black line or yes. to hit it. There you go, girl. Who is that? Tara. Girl, I don't know if you got my Instagram, but I'm getting my Instagram. I want you to uh, send me a cash app. I'm buying you lunch today. My, uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I need yeah. your Instagram. <laughs> yeah, let me drop my Instagram on here too because I want everybody to follow me. I'm about to go on an international tour and <laughs> things about to get nasty. So I need y'all to follow me so y'all can stay in the journey. Isis Love 511, send me a cash app. All right. All right. All right Thanks. Bet. You're welcome. So check this out, y'all. So, uh, and I know lunches don't cost much. So don't, don't worry. I'm gonna make, I, I mean, I know they, that lunches now, they cost about $20, $30. Don't make sure you eat good. <laughs> oh, thank you. I like that. <laughs> so, so check this out. Like she said, it means to go back. That's all we looking for. Now, if y'all look at this, this was so sexy. This is why I say, if you see it, you see it. These green candles, the first, this is the first one. It retests back to the black line where it originally broke out from. That's amazing. That's what we wanted to do, right? So step one, break. Step two, retest, right? So both of these candles were a retest. They went the opposite way, meaning it was going down, then all of a sudden it's going up. Now, let me give y'all a cool analogy, right? I, after, let me finish it, then I'll give you an analogy, right? So that was the break. This is the retest. Now, when do I enter, Isis? It already broke for me, step one. Step two, it already retests for me. Step three in the last step is you want, since it's a sale, you want to see the next candle red so you can enter the market because the red candle is uh representing is representing the sale you see the 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 green candles are being represented uh for a buy right but so we, of course we want to see a red candle once you see this red candle ladies and gentlemen step three is to trade to hop in the market and get the money right that's what that means baby and look at how far and this was the take profit and you didn't even need this much to be honest it all depends on your trading plan that's why i always say if you don't have no trading plan then you ain't trading see a lot of times a lot of, look a lot of times a lot of people make a lot of money because they don't really have a trading plan they just over leveraging all kind of crazy stuff happens and you can make money like that. You really can. You can make lots of money. But if you want to really develop yourself into a professional uh, investor, then you would already start early training yourself not to do crazy moves like that. Because if you're training yourself already to do crazy stuff, crazy lot sizes, not following your trading plan, yeah, you're making money now and yeah, it's cute, but you're developing a habit of not a successful investor. So it's important that we don't get too caught up in the hype and get all, you know, maybe sad, like, dang, well, why are they making 500 to trade, 600 to trade, and I'm only making $5 or $3? Because you're probably, maybe at your amount that you have in your account, you're following your lot size, right? So don't get too caught up in the hype. Make sure that you always develop a winning investor attitude, right? Now, trade. Now, this is how you, uh, and don't worry, if it's, if if you still learn, just keep watching it. I'm telling you, y'all going to get it, right? So if I go to my left, and I'm going to take some questions in just a second, um, I can measure my pips, right? So I start from where I enter, right? And then I can measure my pips. You guys, this was, this was so sexy. I mean, I don't trade crypto, but so I got an idea. How many pips was that, though, y'all? What are my, 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 my crypto heads? How many pips was that, y'all? How, how many pips is this? Is this 733? Y'all see that? Say 733.02. 
So let's just say your training plan was to only take 30 pips. Let's just say, and it don't matter if you don't know what that word is right now. You'll learn about the uh, you'll learn about the terminology and stuff a little later, right? The most important part is just to see how the strategy works. So let's just act like, I mean, 30 pips for you was right here you're in your trading plan, a roundabout, right? This little cute little green line. That means this is so sexy. That's why sometimes trading these volatile pairs is good because you would have entered like here. And as soon as it went down just a little bit, it would have knocked you out of trade and profit. You would have made your money as soon as the candle just went just a little bit like boop, boop, boop. That's it. That's all you need. It was a little boop, boop. And let's just talk about how much money you could have made. This could have been a $60 move for some people, a $1,000 move, a $500 move. It depends on how much you coming in and you bid it. But that means it would have took us, remember, this is a 15-minute candle. This whole candle takes 15 minutes to form. That means you could have made this money between one and five minutes. Because as you see, you only needed it to fall here to this green line. Now, when you look to the right, these numbers in green is the numbers that would be on the cell phone. Now, shout out to everybody that's in our 72-hour trial group. We're going to be dropping two more videos in the group showing you guys how to... Um, how to uh, place a trade in the app so you can see how the money really works on the trading app, right? But I wanted to just show you guys how the break and retest works. So really quick, can anybody tell me like the three steps that we're looking for um, once we got our chart set up with our originally five steps? What are the three moves or the three, um, I would say indicators to get into the market? I will answer. All right, I couldn't hear you. Can you say it again? Number one, you break. Number two, retest. Number three, trade. Come on, Miss Beverly. Shout out to you. You guys, shout out to our new tr original uh, trader, you guys. I think she's only about 72 hours in <laughs> and she's already knocking it out. She doesn't play around. Bye-bye. She doesn't play around with her notes. And Miss Beverly, I just see you doing so many big things with this girl. So you keep doing your thing, baby. So uh, that's amazing. So that's what we're waiting for, y'all. The break, the re and Miss Beverly never lets me buy lunch. So I can't say... Beverly, let me see you some lunch money. She never lets me buy her lunch. I'm going to buy her lunch one day. Watch. <laughs> when I see her in person, <laughs> she have no choice, right? So so that's how it looks, you guys. And we're gonna, I'm going to show you guys another example. Let me delete this green line real quick. But you got the break, the retest, and the trade, meaning, A, I'm getting in. Now, I'm going to show you guys this from a buyer's point of view. And I'm going to take some questions. Now, let's use our imagination. Let's just say these two black lines, and here goes my IG. This is our sell zone. This is our buy zone, right? Sell zone, buy zone. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting. Do y'all see it? Before I even say it, do y'all see it? Drop I see it in the chat bar, baby. If you see it, if you don't, don't worry. We're going we're gonna to make you see it today. If you see it already, before I even go there, let me know if you see it. Like, let me know if you see it. Let's see what we got in the chat, baby. Yes, sir. Somebody said, let go. I see it. <laughs> I see it. I see it. All right, y'all. Let's go. Let's run it. Let's help the rest of our community members see it. Right? Now, look at this, y'all. It's sexy. Ooh, when I tell y'all, it's sexy. Look. Here we go, y'all. So what did it do? It finally broke the top. And what does the top represent? Somebody come off mute. Tell me it's like two or three words we say the top represents. What does the top represent, y'all? The ceiling. The ceiling. Yes. Yes. Support. yes, yes. Give me another one. Resistance. Yes, yes. Give me another one. Buy zone, baby. 
Bazon, all the same words. I'm telling you guys, when I first got started, I was so confused because I was like, but she said that's the resistance. Now she's saying it's the ceiling. Why is she saying that's the roof? Oh my gosh, what is the buy zone? You guys, I was getting so confused, right? I was getting so confused. So I just want you guys to know this terminology and these words so you don't have to be confused like me, right? Now, bet, look at this, so sexy, right? Yes, come on, come on, Facebook. Come on, Facebook. I forgot I was on Facebook Live. All right, Facebook, let's rock. They over here talking too. So look, y'all, first confirmation, it broke. What broke this green candle right here? This green candle broke. That's what we wanted to do. Confirmation one, two, we need a, what do we, what do we need y'all? What's confirmation two? Give me a couple of words that mean the same thing for confirmation number two. Are we just? Give me another one. Pull back. Okay. Give me another one. Retracement. Ooh, that was a good one. I forgot about that one. Who was that? That was me. Who was that? <laughs> Melissa, shoot me your cash out, baby. I like how you snuck that one in there because I forgot about that one. Let's get it. All right, cool. What's that other one, y'all? You're welcome. What's that other one? Um, Reversal. No, yeah, reversal, right? So check this out. Now look at this, y'all. That's what it did. Look, it came back. It was going up. It came back down and said, nah, nah, I'm just playing with y'all. Bam, step number three, trade it. So because the candle is green and green represents a buy and it broke the buy zone, when we seen this candle green, we would have hopped in. Now, if you look at this so sexy, it went all the way up here. You could have took it all the way up here if you wanted to, but remember, Depending on your trading plan, 20 to 30 pips is all you need. So basically, as soon as you would have entered, you would have been out like that, right? Because right there where my cursor is, that's, uh, oh, no, hold on, hold on. Where are the 30 pips at? No, I mean, about right, uh, about right around there is 30 pips, right? This bad boy went up about 700 and, uh, 700 and, I mean, 775 pips. And all we waited for, we waited. We set it the trap. We set the trap. We wait for it to either break above the top or break above below. It broke the top. Confirmation number two, we retest. Confirmation number three, trade, meaning we would have hopped in. Get you a trading plan so you know when to hop out. So whatever your trading plan is, you want to measure your amount of pips per your entry. What that means is you take the measuring stick. If I'm entering... Let's just say I, if I entered here, I just need to count up 30 pips. So when I, I mean, let's just, let's just bring it up. Since this is a little volatile, let's just say my uh, mine was 60 pips, right? So my take profit would have been down here. I would have got in and got out so quick. So, but that's how you do it. Wherever you enter from is where you measure your take profit from. Now, this is not a Forex basics class, so I'm not going to get really deep on how to measure pips and all of that. You guys got to get in your academy, right? Now, let me see what time it is because I spend a lot of time explaining that we have a lot of new people in here, so I really wanted to break that down. But for the next, um, I'm going to take some questions after this last, last part, right? This last part is I'm about to mark up a couple of charts and I'm not going to, like, I'm just going to go very, very fast. I'm going to put some music on really quick. Oh man, I jacked it up. All right, here we go. I'm going to put some music on real quick and we're going to get into the groove, y'all. I'm going to mark up, I'm going to see how many charts I can mark up in 10 minutes. Therefore, I can take some uh, questions and stuff, right? So let me put my tunes back on. I want y'all just to vibe out with me. Let's just vibe out, man. It's Tuesday, baby. Let's get this money. Let's vibe out, y'all. All right. All right, let's tune out by the sparks of the All right, let's go. Y'all drop some charts in the chat that y'all want me to mark up. Drop some uh, charts in the chat, like in some of y'all pairs. All right. Thank you. 
Bitcoin alert, let me know that it broke my buy zone. All right, y'all. Uh, we in. All right, that's one chart. We'll drop, we'll drop it all in the group. I'm gonna see what y'all put in there for me one second. Let's go back to that Bitcoin real quick, y'all. Y'all see, y'all see how I hit my buy zone? Hold on. Ooh, ooh. It may happen right here in our face. Now look at this. So somebody set the timer for me real quick because we may be able to get in this trade. Somebody set a timer for 12 minutes. I need to know when it is um nine o'clock, basically, I guess, right? Because we want this to be done and we want it to retest. All right, let me see what I got in the group. Um, somebody said EURUSD. Let's do that real quick. EURUSD. All right, all right. Y'all, I think my allergies are starting to, uh, starting to kick in, man. It's springtime. All right, let's get back on the hour chart. And it really, it really shouldn't take you long to mark it off once you get used to it. When I say you'll be able to just see it. All right. Okay. Now you got to mark this up on your own too, right? you guys to know if you're just getting on here we're marking up forex we're marking up stocks and we're marking up uh cryptocurrency right so we're marking up different ones i say xrp Some money this week, y'all. We is making some money, money, money. Why are they doing it? Okay. Don't worry, I'm gonna take questions. This one's gonna be that's probably a little bit. Early, early I'm doing the XRP one is a little over uh, 20 pips, so always adjust it to what you need. All right, XRP done. All right, we had uh, gold. Somebody had gold. Dang, I 
I forgot what goal it was. Hold on. Oh, XAU. Let's be, baby. Oh, we gonna eat good today, baby. And y'all make sure y'all look at these, though, because this is like free money. You know what I'm saying? This is like free money, y'all. So you want to you wanna mark these up. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, this is a sexy one, baby. This thing been down to me. This is sexy, y'all. I don't know how many I'm going to be able to do because I do have a lot of stuff to get done today, you guys. I won't be able to go too much overtime today. And I do want to be able to taste the fresh one. Matter of fact, how many we have so far? I'm going to do this last one and see how many. I want to do about 10, but I want to have room for questions too. So I think we're about four or five up. All right, you guys, we're getting it knocked out. I normally, when I'm trading on my own, I don't, I don't need to draw those little indicators because I already know. You know, it's gonna break above or break below. So remember the green lines are representing um, take profits. Adjust. You can adjust for all my traders that are like, trading. Y'all know what's going on. You can adjust your uh, your take profit. You can adjust your take profit. All right. What else we got? The group. What else we got? The group. You see. All right. We only did four so far. Somebody trying to get in the group. Let's go. All right, let's see what else we got. We got EJ. Okay, somebody said they set their timer. Okay, bet. EJ and US30. Ooh, US30, my baby. I don't know who said that. I can't see the name. I'm trying to move you down a little bit, y'all. I actually can start taking some questions as I'm marking up these uh these last charts. You guys want to go ahead and... um. You come off mute because I can't read the chat bar right now. Seven minutes, Isis. Seven minutes, bet. Thanks. Look at this, y'all. So sexy. Seven minutes. Man, look, it happened. Now, this was a little fake out. It broke, it retest, and never went up. So we wouldn't have went in. Because it did step one, break, it retested. But we never got that green candle for the upside. But if you look over here, it broke, it retests, and bay bay did it trade. And this is exotic. So basically, if you came in here with 10 cents, you could have made $514 in six hours. You could have made $514 in six hours from 10 cents. So that means if you had $300 in your account, you could have taken 10 cents from the $300 and grew it to $514. If you would have took 20 cents, you would have had over a thousand, so on and so forth. So however many cents you come in with, you times it by the amount of points that the market has risen or fell, depending on if you want to buy or sell, right? So that's powerful. And that's sexy. All right, so let's remark it up. Anybody um got any questions though? How would this be applied to um, HFX or like binary trading as opposed to what we're doing right now? That's a good question. I don't like trade binary to learn it. I just hop on the binary sessions to kind of um, make the money. Oh, well, I, well, I'll take that back. I mean, you. I take that back. When I'm using Hourglass, I still kind of look at support and resistance as a confirmation before I get in the market. So, I mean, there's different binary strategies. I don't know how this strategy works with binary. 
I never tried it. Like I said, when I'm doing binary, I'm in and out, but I do use like support and resistance to kind of be like, okay, am I going to get in for a put? Am I going to get in for a call? Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. I, I, that's what I thought when I was looking at it, but I was just kind of double checking and making sure because I was because I know binary HFX kind of move a, a little faster um, as opposed as opposed to this right here. You you waiting a little longer to get in. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, but I use it and it's it's kind of like confirming what you're doing because if you on that fifteen minute and you only getting in there for three minutes, you know what you, you know what your candle doing. Three. I like that. Okay. So, I mean, this is just sexy. This is US 30. Like, I'm just going to. um. All right. So, somebody say EJ, I think. So, US 30 hasn't been up this high in a minute, I don't think. Let me see. Let me see. Let me go to. Uh... No, that stimulus went. Oh, that stimulus, baby. I forgot about that stimulus uh, went up. So look, hold on, let me see. Yo, also yeah. the US dollar is on recovery too. So let's look at Bloomberg real quick. Y'all see y'all got me in a whole nother level. I can't be on here all day, but hold on. Y'all got me in a whole nother level because y'all talking about US 30 and, and the news. So look, so real quick, um let me just finish marking it up because y'all didn't got me lit. Y'all know US 30 is my pair. Um I would just really just ride it at 30 pips then. And 30 pips is right there. Look at how much of a move it need to go for you to cash out. Like, that's all. Sometimes, though, with US 30, I ain't going to lie. I kind of traded a little bit different. Like, I can't really explain to y'all, but sometimes the break, you got to know how to do it with US 30. But sometimes you got to get in on a break with US 30 because the break will be the, the 30 pips. Or you wait for it to retest and then enter in from... Um, and then do your 30 pips from wherever you enter. Now, really quick, y'all, this is a bonus. This is a bonus. This is a bonus for my indice lovers. Real quick bonus. Real quick bonus. Because I got to get ready to get out here. What time is the, is the timer? The timer? Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Thank you. All right, y'all. All right. Oh, we still got. Okay, we still we got about oh, two people dropped off. All right, let's get it. So what NASDAQ leads surges and futures as bonds rebound? Yup. See, look, I learned this from Kimmy Torres. Good, all news is good to us when we're traders because we know how to manipulate it. Oh yeah, what's today's date? Oh, wait a minute, nah. Wait, what's the date? Ah, uh, this is old. Okay, so about 9.30ish, I think 9.30, 10. Um, you wanna see like on the 8th, this was hella positive, which is good. Right? That means that the market was buying. So when the opening bell happened and this opens positive on top of the, the news that we have on this headline, rebounding means that this is going into the clear for the buy. So we could probably anticipate maybe this going up, but we still going to wait. We still got our trap set. Excuse me. We still got our uh, trap set. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we got in the group. Less than a minute. Less than a minute. Let's get it. Somebody said they need to be my bestie. EJ. UJ. All right, let me see. I got UJ up here. Nope, but I'm about to do this one. Oh my gosh, y'all. So sexy. Hey, Do you see it? Nine o'clock. Let's take the Bitcoin real quick. All right. So it kind of opened up bullish. We're going to see. Another thing is um, when you have a like a, a bullish trend, it may not always retest. That thing might keep going. But as we see right now, it's kind of it's kind of open and bullish. It's kind of open and bearish. We still going to wait for the 15-minute candle to see what's going on. But we want it to be red like this because, remember, we wanted to drop back down here. When 15 more minutes come, 
we should see this bad boy getting ready to go back up, right? So thank you so much for um keeping me in the loop to do. So all right, so that's what we're looking for. That look good, y'all. But look, we got the break, the retest, trade. Sexy. Now it's setting up again. Now look. Now this line is represent. It's like back. It's back at the same spot, y'all. It just do the same thing over and over, like. Crazy, y'all. All right, I think I'm gonna do one more, and that's it, y'all. I'm gonna do one more. We're gonna go for what we have for the week. Make sure you mark these up. Help me keep accountability on how many we win. If somebody can just help me out, let me know. Um, just let me know like how many we won. Okay, I'm gonna do one more because somebody said UJ, uh, USD, JPY. All right, y'all, we almost done. We almost done. Oh, and we got Bitcoin. So I think we got enough, y'all. We got, we got a, we got enough. Let me um. All right, let me just. We got enough. Shout out to all my people that's brand, brand, brand new. And you probably like, yo, and you stuck on here. You ain't let yourself get overwhelmed. You was just like, look, I'm going to watch. Anybody got any other questions? Because we're going to wrap this up. No questions or dumb questions. Anybody got any questions? All right, my lovely people. So this is the last one. Like I said, mark it up. Oh man, I've been having an itchy nose, itchy eyes all day. But I'm about to affirm that it is gone. <laughs> all right, y'all. Isis, all Isis yep. one quick question. On the gold trade, go back to the gold for a second. Um, I'm trying to understand why did you pick that low? Um, I think I see the high, but I don't see the low, the, the re, um, support. Right here. Because, no, that's, uh, that's XRP, not the XRP, oh, the man. gold. Gold? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now you said, why did I pick this as the support? Yes. Um, because um, this is where the market currently is. And when I look to the left to look at my lowest candles lower than this, these are lower, right? Also, I placed this line here, I went back in the past and I said, how has the market been affected? How has it operated on this, this black line, right? This black line is just my tool. So when I go in okay. the past, I look, at, I look at how, when the market was around this area, look at how it got, this black line got stuck and then couldn't pass. Then if I look at it from this point of view, it came all the way down, tapped this black line, couldn't break it. Came all the way down and finally broke it and got stuck in between the black line and the take profit. The black line is representing my support. So in my mind, this line, like I said, these candles being lower than this candle and me placing it here and then kind of doing my back testing, which I didn't get to go over too much, um, I feel confident with knowing that the market comes to this black line. Okay, it reacts on it some kind of way or the other. Yep, there you go. It reacts. Either it passes through, it taps it, it consolidates. It's just an area, but before I get in there, I want to see the moves. Excellent. All righty. Thank you. You're welcome. That was a great question. Great, great question. All right, guys, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trades. I may do two more a little later for a bonus, S&P, and I think somebody say EJ. So I'll probably do S&P and EJ because if you don't have enough money for US 30, start with S&P. I recommend anybody that want to trade with US 30, start with S&P because they move the same and it's a lot gentler on your account, but you still can make a lot of money from S&P. It moves different than average Forex pairs, you guys. So real quick, I'm going to put my Instagram back up here. Does anybody have any questions before we wrap it up? We got some homework. 
right? The homework is for you guys to mark these eight charts up. Mark the, these eight that we have. Do it just like how I did it. Like I said, and how you do, oh, let me show y'all real quick. So how you do it is, let's just say you like, dang, how did Isis get her line right there? Well, when you grab the horizontal line, when you first do it, you can place it anywhere. When you place it anywhere, this little two bar pops up. Y'all see this little two bar I'm wiggling around, right? If I uncheck that green line, the two bar disappears. If I click the green line, the two bar comes back, right? It's gone, it's back. So when the toolbar pops up, you hit settings and whatever number, like the number coordinate is 1722.48. So you're just looking at where I put the numbers and all you got to do is just type the numbers in, right? And boom, you see how that green line went right here at this because it's the same numbers. So that's how it's easier for you to mark it up. Because So basically you'll place one black line anywhere and then you'll go to the settings. You'll look at the chart that I did. You'll see the numbers. You'll say, okay, 17, 14 point nine. Say, okay, let me do that. So my line can be where ISIS is at. All right, bet. let me get another line so that I can put in the numbers for that. So that's basically all you have to do. But I challenge you guys to send in the homework. You got a week to do it. I know my high speed people gonna do it in one day, um, but send that to me y'all. Uh, send that to me because I wanna make sure y'all get this right now. We got gold bust busting through right now. Look at this, it's busting through the buy zone. Let's do a re quick, quick, quick recap. This ain't doing nothing right now. Uh, Euro ain't doing nothing right now, but I'll still keep my eye on that one. XRP still is not stealing anything. US 30 still on the trap. Bitcoin, look at this. Ooh, I can't make this up. Look at that, baby. What we say, break. What we say, retest. In six minutes, we want to see this bad boy go up. And then, if I was you, let me shoot, just take that, yeah, take that bad boy up, whatever your pip amount is, all right? So check this out, you guys. It's been my pleasure to serve you guys. Um, I do this call every Tuesday at 8. One of the big ways you guys can help me um, is just follow me on Instagram and shout me out on your story. Like, if you got some value today, just shot me out. Take a picture of this session. Take a picture right now and just shot me out, you guys, because I want people to know that we come together as a community and do this. Also, it's going to help you build up your market. If you're in this industry and you want to help people, what is it going to do? It's going to put you in a spot map to have everybody see, well, dang, they're all working together like this. So I love you guys. I hope you have a magical evening at 10.30 a.m. Um, at the same link, we have Mental Momentum with Miss Success Money. Also at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the same link, I will be doing a training on how to build a successful business. Yes, baby, we get both bags. We trade and we build the business too. Let's get it, y'all. Peace and love.